you can relax. That's the name of our podcast. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Relax the Podcast. Hello. I'm your host, Colleen Ballinger, here with my beautiful co-host, Carrot Eric Stockland. Well, thank you. And, and we, we have a special guest, a fly. A fly that's driving me so crazy. It's driving Colleen absolutely bonkers. It's like the one thing. Doesn't bother me in the slightest, but it's how. all I'm she so can jealous. talk about is that there's a fly loose in the studio. It's something that makes, it's like one of the few things in this world that makes me actually rage. A bug existing? No, 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 not a bug existing. That's fine. Exist all you want. But when it flies right past me, like a uh -huh. zoom, like that sound it makes when it's like zoom, and it like buzzes by your face. Oh, it makes me, because it like I think it scares it's fine. me. It doesn't remind you that you live in the world and there's other things and they, they sometimes go past you. It's okay. just Look, keep walking. Did you live in New York? Life. Didn't you Relax. live in New York City? Didn't Relax. you live in Didn't you want to at one point have an apartment in Manhattan and you're like talking about a bug in your podcast yeah, room? Yeah, I would way rather do I, I would uh, are you kidding? Like I'd way rather stand in a 100 degree humid no, you piss stinky you wouldn't. subway waiting over an hour for my subway to come at 1 in the morning than listen to this fly buzz by my face. Okay. I swear to you. And no, hearing a fly buzz by my face does not remind me that I live in the world. <laughs> what are you, Buddha? Yes, um, I am trying to be. So we're using tiny mics today uh -huh. because we are painting today. We had this idea a long time ago. I think actually Eric had this idea. It was also a trend. I, I saw comments asking us to do this too. A long I time saw, ago. Yeah, I saw it as like a, a TikTok trend where people were on, like doing date nights where they were painting portraits of their significant others mm -hmm. and then so, uh, but not showing them till the end right kind of a thing yeah right and so eric surprised me actually sweetly like a little angel man he is with a date night the other night and he set up all this painting stuff and so this is something that started a couple nights ago and we've kind of chipped away at these paintings a little bit each night just a little bit though like 10 minutes here and there the yeah. last couple nights we still have not seen each other's paintings, and so mm -hmm. we're going to try to finish it here on the Don't podcast. Look. Although, I'm not looking. I haven't seen anything, but I do see that you have a Sharpie, which is not mixed paint. Me mixed media. Okay, girl. I didn't know that I'm we could use Sharpies. Um, but I have a rag here. One, just so that I can... Wait, hold up. Oh, my God. That was so nice. I've been needing to sneeze since we started the episode. It's just How been like... Kill tickling the inside of my nose it felt good all right love so while i get working on my painting yes, oh my please. god this is how's it going not great love not great at all uh it's not going good no okay not not quite but here how about you go ahead and tell me who needs to relax for you this weekend i'm having a real issue with my phone and i'm sure i've complained about your phone phones or technology many times mm -hmm. on when we, we talk you have um but like i've but so Two phones in a row, the little, the plug where you charge the phone, obviously like a, like a major like necessity for the phone yes. being functioning has stopped working. Yeah, I think you, ha this probably has been relaxed before. This is my second phone in a row with where this has happened. Um, but like they have that thing where it's like, oh, well, you can do the magnetic charger on the back. Right. Um, which nobody uses, I assume. I think people use it. I don't really use it because I have a pop socket, so it doesn't really work on mine. But I know people use it, right? Well, no, because like the phone case, I feel like is an adaptable and whatever. So like, I feel like most people like the, when they charge their phones, they plug in. I'm just gonna assume that. Okay. For my, like for my story. Okay. Second phone. So first one stopped plugging in. It was so annoying to me that I was like, well, I have to get a new phone. Okay. This phone is six months old. Mm -hmm. Same thing happened. The plug stopped working. Okay. So I went, I went to um, the Apple store, mm -hmm. and I was like, what do I do here? Do I just buy the new phone? And, the, and the, um, the guy, the Apple store worker, looked at me and was like, well, it's, it's August. What? Meaning that like, they're going to come out with a new iPhone in a month or two, probably. But he so, just said it's August to you? Yes, mean, yes meaning that like usually in September or October, they unveil the new one. So to, to, to buy a new iPhone in August is like, I feel like the silliest thing oh, ever. Oh, okay. Because they're going to come out with a new one. You're going to buy it. And, right. and I feel like this historically has happened to me every time I've ever gotten an iPhone. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the thing that tickles me is that like I had that magnetic charger, which was the only way to charge my phone mm -hmm. when we went to San Francisco. Oh, did you leave Left it? Left it in the hotel room, <gasps> of course, because like as we've established on this podcast, if there's anything I do whenever I stay at a hotel is that I um, 
what do they call it when you you leave your charger yeah i pay pay it it forward oh yeah i I like i leave my charger for the next person you know what i mean as like a nicety Mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's not because i forgot it it's just because i want the next person to have a, a magnetic charger for them when they check in um and so i did so the only other charger i have for my phone is this random alarm clock that i bought on amazon one time like a few months ago where it has like, which I was like, well, I'm never going to need that. But this alarm clock had like the magnetic charger on top of it. Mm-hmm. So I've been carrying around this oh, this like wooden box <gasps> of an alarm I clock. That? I saw that the other and day. And you saw I was like, me. I'm sure you've seen me. I didn't me see like, you, that, but I saw it somewhere. And I was like, why? Oh, it was in the kitchen. I was like, why is that random weird alarm clock alarm in the clock? kitchen? Yeah, because it's the only way I can charge my phone. Oh, my God. Which, by the way, it's like, it's dying like super fast. Like, so I, why can't you like so buy I'm carrying another around this charger. alarm clock with me everywhere I go. Why don't you buy a charger? Oh, when I was in the Apple store asking them about the new iPhones? Yeah. Well, because like, that felt like, why would I, I felt like a waste of money. <laughs> it, it did. It genuinely felt like, like a waste of money to like buy a magnetic phone charger because like their phone charger plugged. So I wonder, I wondered if anybody uh, else that hears this is like, yeah, like the, the plug to charge the thing that needs to be plugged into charge every day stops, stops working and like the guy, very the guy easily. Th- like nothing happened. Nothing tragic happened. Like I didn't, I didn't drop it off the side of a building or in the in the ocean or like anything crazy. Like it just like eventually the plug felt like loose, or then you know it didn't feel like it didn't feel like a tight seal, and then it stopped charge. It's just all together. Then I would have to like tilt it to charge my phone. I'd have to like push it in really hard and like tilt it. This isn't a metaphor for anything, and 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 then eventually just stopped charging it all together. So I had to use use the back magnetic charger. Which makes also makes the phone really hot. Really, see, like here's boiling, the thing: is boiling, boiling. This hot. happens to you a like lot. Cook an egg hot. Like every. Well, phone... I'm telling you, this happened two times in a row. It has never happened to me. So I'm like so confused why you keep well, getting that's... dead phones that keep doing this. Well, like, that's why I'm bringing it up because I'm like I wonder if anyone else. Well, is there something? Something must be getting into where. So at like, the end the of the podcast, charges. we're gonna unveil the paintings to each other. Uh huh. Okay. Wait. That, yes. Just making sure that was established. Oh. Um. Oh, did we not establish that? I don't know. Well, Am I going to get to see your painting at the by the end of this? You know what? Are you Unf- going to be ready? Unfortunately, I don't know, love. This is not going well. So hopefully, but I've already. Messed what are you up working with... on now? You're not allowed to ask questions about okay. it, are you? Is that I part don't of know. the deal? Um, well, I don't. That's never happened to me in my phone charger. But it, I think that's a matter of like you are you're getting something into the into the little like charging port. port. Yeah, right. Isn't that what that means? Like what? I don't know, food, water, something. Sand. Sand. Lint. I don't sweat. Sweat into the port. I don't Uh, know. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It just. It just seems to me like it happened for the first time that last phone, and I was like, "Ugh, this is really annoying. I have to get a whole new phone because I'm so sick of having to charge it on the magnetic charger." Did that, and then even like within within months, the same thing happened. And so now I'm like waiting until they unveil the new iPhone. Like I'm like, oh, I can make it two months doing like carrying around this alarm clock with me everywhere I go. <laughs> Literally, what I'm doing. Why not just get a char- how much are um, the char- how much are those magnetic? Chargers? I don't know. I'm stubborn. Yeah, um, that's true. But like, is it going to be worth it? Because then I'm going to wait for the new iPhone, and then uh, it's going to the same thing. So like, green text, Samsung, rise up. Tell me, like, should I just like, can you not ha- can you not have an iPhone? People do that. I don't know. I I'm not doing that. I feel like this is what a monopoly is. Like you have, like you have, to, you kind of have to, right? Well, this day and age. No, I, a lot of people don't have them. I just I'm not one of those people. But you can be one if you would like. <laughs> I'm not going to join you in that. I feel like effort. I could. I think you would hate it. You don't think what? having not an iPhone. I feel like I'd love it if I had like an old flip phone that like just did nothing. I think you would not like that at all i think you would be so frustrated because you 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 use we've talked about this before you use your phone for so for so many things like we're constantly googling things and directions to things and ordering but i I don't need it i didn't need it before i didn't need it before it existed before what the internet like obviously but like the world is the internet now well i'm sorry to hear all that i don't know it's it's not an exciting one but it it is but it is like uh i just thought it was funny and I wondered if you'd noticed that I've been carrying around an I alarm, clock with me alarm clock from room to room at night 
because that's when your phone generally right. dies. And you're like, I did notice that last night, the, yeah. the alarm clock. Um, okay, well, that explains it. My relax is, okay, I have a couple of stupid little things here, but one of them is Flynn was talking about uh, different kinds of sea creatures, as he does, and he was uh, telling me about a crawfish in a recent video, and I was putting text on the screen, like to the different like animals he was talking about, and I put... I was spelling crawfish. Do you know how to spell crawfish? I believe so. Spell it. C-R-A-W-F-I-S-H. Right. That's what I thought, too. Is it spelled a different way? C-R-A-Y. Crayfish. Yeah, I feel like I knew that. Wait. Yeah, but why is it spelled like that? Uh, when I was a kid, we called them crayfish. So am I saying it wrong? Is it not crawfish? Is it crayfish? I don't know. It really upset me. I'm like, like old I'm like, now, so I don't know. I literally was like, am I looking up the wrong thing? Have Did you ever caught one? No. Oh. But, so you do call it crayfish. When I was a kid, we did, yeah. But, like, is that what it's called? I'm sure, I think it's crawfish. I think you're wrong. But we would say crayfish. It is crawfish, but that is how people, I will You only say crawfish, but it's spelled crayfish? It's spelled crayfish. Like, I literally spelled crawfish, and... What pops up is it corrects it for me and spells crayfish. Look at this. That's what it says. Huh. C R A Y. That really bothers me. Like if it's if am Why? I spell wait. Why does it bother you? Crayfish and crawfish are different terms used to refer to the same animal. But when I search crawfish, wait, this one does oh, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Now when I Google it, I do see it spelled C R A W as well. But it the first thing it does is corrects it to C R A Y. So wait, are they? But they're both the same thing. Crayfish and crawfish. It I bothers me that people say crawfish weird. if it's spelled crayfish. I don't like when spelling doesn't match how it sounds. It really uh -huh. bothers me. There's a lot of words in the English language that do that that really bother me, and that's one of them. Go ahead, give me an example. Um, okay, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, get a life. Uh -huh. Spell Wednesday. So just days. No, not just days. Like crawfish. <laughs> 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 it uh, bothers me. I think it's almost weirder that there's like, we get it. There's lobsters. They're in the ocean. We catch them and they're like really tasty when you put them in like a brioche roll. We get it. But like we're going to have like a small creek in the middle of the woods and there's going to be mini lobsters in there. Like That's crazy. And we're going to call them crawfish or crayfish. They're lobsters? What do they look like to you? Shrimp kind of. They look like, no, they look like mini lobsters. Oh. They do? Yeah. Oh, I guess they do look like a little lobster. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, wait, really? They're like little lobsters. Have you ever been to like someone from Louisiana, like a friend, like, and they have like a, like a crawfish, crayfish, like bake? Have you been to that? I've People been to People have like, like parties where they're like, we're going to have all these mini lobsters. Yeah, what's it called? Like a boil, like a crawfish boil or something sure. like that? I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, I haven't, been to, I haven't been to like one, but I've been to restaurants where they have like the big pop yeah. a bunch of them with like a big hunks of corn and potatoes and it's it's nuts to me because how do you even so it's like mean. hey we we understand that like the large chocolate bars exist but we're gonna have like the mini like halloween candy well chocolate it's still bar party. food right like it's, it's i don't know it's too complicated to be food i think yeah i don't know well i don't like the spelling of it but see, some, yeah but I, see this one says by louisiana crawfish and it's spelled crawfish so what is the difference why do they have the two spellings and how come when I type in crawfish, it autocorrects it to crayfish? And do people say crayfish or crawfish? I just don't know. I just, it really, really bothered me that I've always, it's. The spelling of it. Yeah, but now I, now maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's spelled both ways and pronounced both ways. I don't know. I don't know the. I don't know. How, how do you feel about this? Our son's love, passion for mm -hmm. these creatures has made me, as someone who liked seafood, not want to eat seafood at all. Yeah. We talk about, we have stuffies, plush toys mm -hmm. of squids and mm -hmm. octopus. Mm -hmm. And just and just thinking about how people are like, yeah, cal calamari. Like I used to love fried calamari. Right. I don't, I can't do it anymore. We were in a restaurant and there was like two, there were, well, the octopus is really good. And I was like, well, what do you mean? Oh my God. That's yeah, like I the, will never that's the smartest, most amazing animal on the planet. Right. What do you mean it's really good to eat here? And I feel like that's the restaurant we got up and left from. 
That's the one we walked what? out of. Yeah, it was like that was like the mo- their most no, popular thing. Yeah, no, we went. To, no, it was the restaurant we went to. I think that had good octopus. Did they both? Because I know the one oh. we the one the first one we went to was like a sushi one where they were like known for. I just can't. I can't imagine. Yeah, um, let's talk about that a second because we talked about it on my vlog channel a little bit. But we went to a restaurant and like the most horrific thing happened to me. This is like. This gave me so much freaking anxiety. We went to this restaurant that had really good reviews because I don't trust, I literally don't trust anything I on the internet ever again. Like you cannot trust literally anything because I will search, like we searched for a good restaurant and you're not going to get the results of what the good restaurants are. You're going to get what has been, what has paid in like a sponsored post to be, to for someone to say they're a good restaurant. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, because- yeah. Eric was looking on some like reservation app, like a place where you can like get reservations to places. And on that app, it said that this one restaurant was like incredible, the best restaurant in the universe. And then uh, we went there and I was like, well, this place looks a little like sus. And then I looked it up on Yelp and it had like not great reviews. Also, like every restaurant was in a hotel lobby, it seemed. And when we got there, the guy was like, well, you must be staying with us. Yeah, he was like, why would you be here? Why would you, why would you ever want to eat at this restaurant, restaurant if you're, if not, you're staying at this hotel. not staying at this place? But that has happened to me so many times recently, and it's made me so annoyed. Like, I was looking up uh, some makeup product, I don't like a moisturizer or something, yesterday. And I looked up, like, best moisturizers, like, 2024, like, what's a good face moistur- moisturizer, whatever. And the first few things that popped up were like these lists of like best oh. moisturizers of 2024. And it was like, what you got? Oh, you got paint all over you. Oh my I goodness. Paint on my hands. Well, we're painting. So you must oh. have touched the paint, I guess. Sorry. Um, that's okay. But I, I went to this website that said like best moisturizers in the universe. Here's a rag for you, lovey. Oh, thanks a lot. Um, and where'd you get a rag? You have an, I thought it was a paper towel. It's a rag. Mm-hmm. You have rags. I have rags. For what? For rag things. <laughs> yeah. Where did this know. rag come from? What if I suddenly am on you the rag? Because you have paper towels in your lap. No, this, you, I have paper towels. Oh, that yeah, was so confusing. And you're yeah, like, I do. you're I, like, I have paper towels, but I'm and handing I also you have a, a rag. rag. Who has rag? I have lots of rags. It's a rock thing. Let's not talk oh, about okay. it. Um, anyway, <laughs> I looked at this moisturizer and it was like best moisturizer in the universe. Like this, you have to get this one. It's so amazing. Uh-huh. And it was like, oh my god, this thing's gonna change your life. And so then I clicked on it to go buy it on Amazon, and on Amazon it had like two and a half stars. And all these reviews that were like, this is the worst, crappiest thing in the world. It doesn't work. And that makes me feel like I can't trust freaking anything. Because like every time I look something up, I have to look at like 800 different websites to see if it's actually good or not. Do you know what I'm talking about? So Even when like, I was looking so for hotels. So you're like checking your sources. You're like. I always check my sources if I'm Googling something. Like even when we were looking for hotels in San Francisco, some websites were and apps were like, this is the best, most fanciest freaking hotel you'll ever stay at. But then if you go onto Yelp, where people are actually reviewing this thing, the reviews will be like so terrible. So I'm like, what oh. is, how do you know what's actually good and what's not these days? So anyway, we were at this restaurant because an app told Eric, a reservation app told Eric that this place was so incredible, had like incredible reviews. And then once we got there, we looked up more reviews and they were all like, no, this place is actually not that great. So we had to leave. And it was horrific for me like it was such a like I I want to know what people think about this like have you ever sat down to a restaurant and then <clears> we got there and we're like I don't want to eat here we got to go we've we didn't order a, anything we've made a, they, they brought us the water yeah sparkling our tap and the waiter came over for the initial introduction and said I'll be right back and then we realized we've made a huge mistake right and for me when I'm in that situation I'm like Okay, I'm staying. Like, once you sat on the table, you no. stay. Like, you do not leave. So when you suggested we leave, I was like, have you lost your mind? We're sitting. Well, We're, there's no, how would we leave? I, We're sitting down. Don't like, make me seem so brave. I wasn't like, let's leave. I was like, let's leave, but we have to role play. Right. Yeah. Um, so he definitely wanted to role play, but I was like, we cannot, there's no way we can go. Like, this is not, like, I felt like once we, I just feel like once you sit down in a restaurant, like, you cannot leave. It's so rude. Like, I just feel I like. I didn't mean I felt, to be rude. I just. No, I'm not saying you were rude. We yeah. both left. There was many empty tables. It wasn't like we like like took up an, a reservation that they could have made money on or, right. or whatever. And it was just like it wasn't the the vibe. And I wanted we wanted to go. It was like our one night that we got to go. Yeah, out to and dinner. so it was like I didn't want to waste it. And so I was like, let's go. But the people pleasing insecurity in me was like, we need to we need a skit. 
And so I proceeded to fake a phone call mm -hmm. with a babysitter that didn't exist. <laughs> And then, <laughs> so I'm arguing with a fake babysitter on the phone. Not at first. Assuring first, you first that, like, it's not an emergency, but we got to get back. But everything's okay. But I'm so sorry that our date night is ruined. And then I started talking to, like, the our waiter and saying, like, hey, so, and, like, you know, my, my, but meanwhile, if you saw my home screen, like, obviously I wasn't on the phone or yeah. I, I don't know. It just seemed obvious to him. And he was just like, dude, get out of here. Well, it was phone. obvious. I'll tell you why it was obvious to him. So, like, oh. we, so Eric is like, sorry, we got to run. We're having a babysitter issue thing. Like, we got to go. And the guy was like, okay. Like, literally didn't care. He's mm -hmm. like, I was confused why you were here. In the I was over explaining, place. maybe. But then, but then you got on the phone <laughs> and started talking to this babysitter. You're like, what do you mean? We can't be alone for 10 minutes. Just put on the TV, put on a cartoon or something. Like, he was like talking to this fake babysitter. And I was like, what are you doing? And he's like, fine. I guess, uh, I guess we'll be there in 10 minutes. Like, you're like, yeah. And then I looked at the guy like, and they look at the guy like, oh. And it was like, but we were walking out at that point. So the guy was just kind of like, what are you doing? But this is why it was like so, n didn't work. Because we, when we got there, I don't know if you remember this. When we got to the restaurant, he was walking us to our table. And he's like, so you guys staying at the hotel? And we we're like, no. And he's like, oh, oh, okay. What brings you here? And we're like, oh, we're just going out to dinner. And he's like, where are you from? And I said, Los Angeles area. And he was like, oh, oh, cool. What brings you up to San Francisco? I was mm -hmm. like, you know, we're just getting away from the kids for the weekend. We're going to the festival, whatever. So then you're like, we got to rush home. Yeah, emergency, yeah. Two, five hours away. And then you're to the babysitter on the phone who's supposedly in the L.A. area with our children. You're like, we'll be there in 10 minutes. Love, it's improv. I'm sorry I didn't have like a year to like write my one man show. It was improv. I was just like spitballing there. Uh, and I feel like an under... A, a bachelor's in theater. Well, I thought you did a great job. It's got to get but you something. I was just curious if anyone else what out else there, like it? if you guys are comfortable leaving dinner in that scenario, like I, I, I just kind of feel like once you've sat down and Eric does too, we've never done this before and that I can remember. Once you sit down, like you're there, like you can't just like up and leave. Right. So I'm curious if anyone else has ever done that. And if you had crippling anxiety, like I did that night, um, crippling anxiety, but I feel like also you should, you should have the power to be like, Oh, I've, there's not there's no like commitment to when you sit in a restaurant when you've been sat in a restaurant that like you have to eat there out of pressure if it's not if it's not super busy you haven't made up a reservation you haven't ordered anything yet like yeah. well well I, I think you should be able to bail on anything okay that's a motto to live by in life well just yeah just bail like just, if you can it, well if, if you're like oh, I don't know about this like you can walk away yeah, sure. You can walk away from anything in life if you want to. That's yeah, no, I mean, not everything, but like. Oh my gosh, can you hear the fly love? Everyday things. Oh, I just see him flying around. You, know, oh, he just me really crazy. likes you. Crazy. I kind of like it. Ugh. It's Does awful. it just remind you that you're alive with other creatures? Yeah, it just reminds Sorry, me that if I'm this, alive. I feel like this episode's weird because like it's really hard to focus on conversation and also be painting at the same time. I'm like really. Well, I'm excited to see the painting. Are, Are you done close? with yours? I'm pretty. Yeah, I mean, I've, I'm pretty. Pretty close to um, to being done. I am not. I showed it to Flynn today. What did he say? He said, it looks great. You should add some hearts. Oh, my gosh. I was going to add hearts to mine. Yeah. I didn't get to add the hearts, but that's oh. what he said. We could add them right now. Uh-huh. Um, I had another relax. Can I tell it to you? Please. I thought of this when we were on our trip, but I forgot to say it in the last episode. So my other relax is, um, so I have these mints that are like Listerine type of mint. Like they're just, well, you know what? Just mints in general. With, I think mints are too much. I don't like mints. I don't like how strong they are. But specifically Listerine strips, you know the ones you put on your tongue? Are we still doing that? That was like 20 years ago. We're still doing Listerine strips. I don't know. I'm sure people have them. But like, you know. They the, don't still exist. Do you they? know those? I th would think. I but you know those little them. mints that we had on our trip to San Francisco? Uh -huh. Those reminded me of those Listerine strips. They, they were anything. that strong. Uh-huh. Well, I don't know if they did anything, but the problem was that, like, that doesn't even taste like a mint. It just tastes like you're – it's, like, it's the most it, – it, you've got to agree with me. This is, like, the most horrific feeling in the world to put a Listerine strip or one of those mints that we had that's similar well, the, to – The tape like, that you put on your tongue, yeah, that was never good. jarring – it's, like, painful, cringy, awful. It's the worst feeling in the world. What is having a mint? Not any mint, like the Listerine strip type mint or the mints that we had on our trip, the little balls that like exploded. Uh huh. They don't taste good. No, but I liked it. So you don't agree with me that that's horrible? 
You like Listerine strips? I no, I said the opposite. I said I don't think they still make those, and they and those were terrible because of the texture of like the way that like the Listerine strip would like soak into your. But the flavor of it was mouth. like the sh- most shocking, painful, horrific. Oh my god, they're so bad. Like, anyway, I hate them. I think they're so. In- I can't believe you don't agree. I with like a mint. I don't, I don't. I like. I like being shocked by a mint. I like when a mint is like strong. I feel like that was like Altoids, like whole marketing strategy was like a curiously strong mint. Like it's going to be curious and it's going to be strong. Like that's, it's a mint. I think I hate mints. I think so. I think they're disgusting. I don't think they make your mouth taste better. I think they're just freaking gross. They, I don't, I think I hate, and, but I do like mint. I don't know that, it, well, make your mouth taste better than what? Then like yuckiness. Well, I mean, why do you take a mint? You take a mint because your mouth tastes bad, right? Because you have bad breath or something. Yeah. So I like, guess. Yeah, sure. But m- I just think mints taste really bad, and they're too. I'd hate the shocking feeling of them. I That's think it's fair. I thought you'd agree with me on this. But I'm, it's like what they. But it's like it's what they're for, right? Is they're they're supposed to be like to make it taste worse in your mouth and to make you extremely worse, uncomfortable and in worse pain. How? I mean, mean, it's like it's they're horrible. like they're like we're a mint, like we're doing something. You'd rather be a mint and just be like kind of like casual. No, I want it to taste good. Like the point of a mint is what? to like make your taste mouth good, taste like, better. Like what? Taste like taste better, like fresh, refresh. Like like okay, if I'm gonna eat gum, you know, chew gum, like uh huh. There's different types of gum, right? There's different flavors of gum, and there's ones that yeah. taste better than others. Okay. So I feel like most mints, like the Listerine flavor of a mint is freaking foul. Like a mouthwash flavor. That's fair. But like that's not what all mints are. Like some mints are like they do what – I mean they exist because they do what you're, you're asking them to do and then you're mad about it. I'm not mad about it, love. I just don't like the jar – this is apparently not relatable so I should just – No, stop. no, 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 no. No, I'm just saying, like, I just, I think they're horrible. I think mints are awful, and I don't like them. And I thought this, this is one of those times where I'm realizing, like, I thought something was relatable, and it isn't at all. And that happens to me very often in life, where I'm like, well, everyone hates this. Well, everyone loves this, right? And then I realize that I'm not correct. And I'm, you look insane in this. Your shoulders in my painting that I'm doing. You're painting my shoulders? Yeah, I'm, like, putting your shirt on. Like, making your shirt. But it's not going well. The object was, like, with no real specifications was date night was like i'm gonna paint you mm-hmm. and you're gonna paint me and we can't see it till we're done right but uh-huh. no one said anything about shoulders so you just want it a floating head like that <laughs> doesn't have a shirt i will on? say your shoulders are in mine so right that's fair so i'm just yeah i'm just trying to paint your shirt is what i'm trying to do but oh, it's, okay what kind just, of shirt am i wearing it's a, right now it's just a color there's no <laughs> <definition>. color shirt <laughs> just a shirt <laughs> Um, okay, so I want to read comments. We could read comments if you want to do that, sure. unless you had something else you wanted to complain about or talk well, about. Well, since we're painting, since we're painting, mm-hmm. um, did you? What was the extent of your art education when you were in school? Well, it depends what you classify as art, because like is is uh, music and dance and theater is that's art, I right? Meant, I meant like paint. I meant like kind of. I took one painting, ceramics, that kind of like. Well. I did take a gourd carving class. I know. We talk about it a lot. <laughs> we're, well, we have I know. Like I'm multiple joking. I'm episodes joking. I'm joking. We should just call this Colleen's channel gourd carving. Gourd. Uh huh. Um, no, I. So when I I did do that, but I that doesn't count, I guess. In, in high school, I took a painting class that I don't remember anything about. Uh-huh. Um, I was not good in it. It's not ever been my forte. My dad and my brother Christopher are both really good uh, artists. Um, and so I just, it was one of those things where I always felt like I could never amount to like their caliber of talent. So like, I never like tried very hard. Cause I was like, I could never be as good of an artist as them. Like they're very talented. That's how I felt about like my mom. Yeah. Your mom is an incredible artist. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of, I, so I never, I was like, oh, this isn't my thing. This is their thing. So I never like wanted to even try. Cause yeah. it's like, I just will never amount to that. So, um, but I did take an, a painting class, I think, in high school. And I also took a jewelry class in high school. Oh, fun. Which I enjoyed. And it's how I knew this, what the smell of sulfur was. So one time when i pretty sure I was trying, uh, a demon was trying to possess me, I knew that if a there's a, a demon, if a demon is around you, you smell a sulfur. Demon Manziel? No, no, no. Not her. She's fabulous. I'm talking about a demon. 
Um, if a demon, uh, one time a ghost hunter told me if a demon's trying to possess you, you're going to smell sulfur. And I was smelling sulfur and I knew it was the smell of sulfur because I used sulfur in my jewelry making class. So that's one benefit of taking a jewelry making class is I was aware of what the smell of sulfur was. So when I smelled it later for demons with a demon around, I knew what it was. I knew it was a demon because of my jewelry class. Shout out jewelry class. And then I think that was the extent of my art, uh, education. What about you? I have, I have a traumatic story about this because my mom was an art major and is an amazing painter uh, still to this day. Um, and I, I never thought I was talented in it, but I always enjoyed it. And when I was in high school, they had an art class that was an honors art class. So you kind of had to audition to get into what? this art class. Did they have a senior high school? I don't remember that. Um, where you had to do like kind of like three paintings and they would let you into this like, you know, class of only like 15 people senior year that were mm-hmm. in honors art. And I was like, I'm going to audition to be, you know, do the paintings to be in it because I just thought it was so fun and like, I thought it was like, could, was okay. As you'll see by this painting at the end of the episode. I think you're like, a really good artist. Come on. And I didn't get in. Oh, were you so sad? Yes, because my girlfriend in high school got in <gasps> did she rub it in your face i mean did she i'm not saying she did or didn't but like was she like sim- no uh, no of course of course she didn't i'm sure she was like so like felt bad whatever but like the insecurity of like a you know 16 year old i don't know oh my su- god it's i was it made me so sad it sucked Aww. because i was like oh i want to paint in this class. and they're like no you can't be in this painting class but, like I, I don't feel like they had like a a hundred people trying to get into it. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they could have fit one more that like really wanted to be there. Oh, and was, like, I'm sorry, like, tried- I just wanted to learn. Also, it's like high school. Like, I'm just trying right. to like learn how to paint. You know? You're like, oh, you're not good enough to learn how to I'm paint. I'm so sorry, love you. Jokes on you. So the whole semester, did you guys stay together or did you break up? Because this did this cause you guys to break up? <laughs> did. Did I don't know if it was up? the reason. I don't know if it was like the. Um, so you guys weren't together the whole semester when she was in it. That would have been so painful for you, I'm sure. Yeah. So no. you weren't together when she was in it, though. So like, you're, well, you know, it was like off. It was like off and on, and I'm sure that's that's why. It's because I didn't get into the art. class. Because you just didn't want to hear her talk about her art class. Right. Hmm. But did you ever do any other art classes, though? Like what? Like what do you mean? Like art classes. Like was that the one thing you just try to get into this honors one, but you'd never taken class before? No. Um, no, I've never, other than like an elementary, like, you know, junior high, high school, it's like kind of our only, only art classes I ever did. I did, I did a ceramics class once or not pottery. Mm. I like got a pottery studio in, in LA mm-hmm. to, make a, to make a bowl that I'm very proud of. Mm-hmm. Um, but other than that, no, it's like all just natural, not natural. Like I, I don't think I've, I've done a painting in a very long time. Yeah, I certainly haven't. Uh, and to be fair, this is just like acrylic date night silliness. But like, with you're so competitive that I feel like I feel a lot of pressure on me. Wow, that's insane. Um, this is should you should not feel any pressure. I'm literally just painting. So I feel black like yours is gonna look like amazing. It's actually not looks nothing like and you. And I'm, I'm again gonna like go into that shell of the embarrassed. 16 year old that I didn't get into the honors art class I'm literally just painting a black blob for your shirt because I feel like I'm running out of time um you're going crazy over there what I'm just you... trying to finish it it's like taking too long we and did this date like... night uh during the pandemic that was like the Bob Ross oh that was thing, so fun we should do that again where we had to do like the Bob Ross like uh tutorial of like the trees in the forest and stuff that was like great that was so fun um I'm so when I paint or when I do a craft or an art thing or whatever I get so into it like I feel like I don't know what I'm saying or like I don't know anything we've talked about I don't remember anything we've talked about I don't know how long we've been here we could have been here five minutes or six hours I don't know Uh uh-huh yeah you get very involved I don't know if like anything we've said has been interesting or I don't know anything that's happening but I do know that um this looks all right I wanted to read some comments from the last episode yes please the last episode we talked a lot about how Sonic isn't real the restaurant (laughs) and how you don't believe that Sonic is real and that you think it's a conspiracy just that conspiracy money laundering scheme yeah um you also were like feeling you know good after fun day and you were we'd come from a from a music festival and then like a dinner or and a dinner and then we were in our hotel room and you're like we and then we recorded the podcast yeah so forgive me i'm sorry no no they everyone loved it they love because you were just like dropping f-bombs every five seconds oh no was i yeah so everyone was like i love how loosey-goosey eric is in this episode but everyone loved it here's the funny thing i don't i really don't 
remember too much of any of that other than my <laughs> oh, yeah. my mother texting me two days later uh, after the episode came out. She goes, you know, there's a Sonic like down the yeah. street from our It wasn't there when I grew up, but apparently there is. So if, I, if we go back to my parents' house, there's a Sonic, well, she yeah, says. Well, yeah, all the comments were about it, okay? So I got to tell you, <laughs> I'm going to read you some of the comments about Sonic. So Eric and I were talking last week in case you missed it about how – we always get ads for Sonic the restaurant, but neither one of us have ever been to one or seen one in real life. Maybe I've seen one. I don't think I have. But anyway, um, there were tons of comments about this. <laughs> no. Mel said, we have three Sonics in our town and Come only on. one lady wears roller skates. She's like almost 90 years old and has worked there like since it opened. And it's Lucky. so precious. Isn't that amazing? Is it good? Well, everyone's talking about fun fact. My very f- this is from Jessica. Fun fact: My very first job was at Sonic, and I roller skated when taking food to cars. This was thirty years ago. Um, then oh, oh, here's roller skates good. involved. Wait, okay, you really don't remember anything about that night because <laughs> I talked about this for a while on the episode about how like I'm pretty sure they wear roller skates to bring you your food. And I was like, this place oh, can't wow. be real. And then we looked at ads for Sonic, and everyone was wearing roller skates. You don't remember this? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Amanda said, Colleen, there is literally a Sonic right next to the Milford Mall where Eric used to work. How does he not remember? It wasn't there. It was That's new. That's like, okay. that's recent. It so wasn't there. Kristen said, there's Sonics everywhere in North Carolina. You would love their pickle fries. <gasps> oh, you would for sure. Are yeah. you kidding? And it, she also said, my favorite item is their ocean water, which is a slushy with nerds. Yum. Wait, what? That sounds so good. A slushy with nerds in yes, it? Yes, that sounds so, so like chunks amazing. of nerds? Yeah. That doesn't sound good to you. You don't like that? Sounds, are you kidding? I love nerds. Um, Mad, Maddie maybe said, watching while sipping my crisp Sonic lemonade cream cooler. It does indeed exist. Okay. Those words do not sound good. Crisp cream Girl. Cooler. Sounds good to me. Lemonade cream cooler. That sounds so no, good. No, no, That sounds no, no. so good. I it, Okay, so here's another one. Liz said, being a Texan, it's hilarious to me that you guys don't think Sonic is real because there's literally at least one Sonic <laughs> in every single town, no matter how small it is. In my town, some women still skate to serve you, but I think it's optional now. It used to be a requirement like over 10 years ago. Oh, that's super fun. Um, I would love that. So many comments about this. I'm going to read a couple more. <laughs> Hannah said, oh, not all locations serve on skates, but a good amount do. The concept is very old fashioned, but super fun. Highly recommend. Please do a Sonic podcast moment. That would be everything. I Where's the closest one? Two hours away. <laughs> I looked it up. It's not real. There's one it's like two real. hours, 11 minutes away. Where? What? Where? I don't remember. The, it was it looked very random. Uh-huh. It looked like a weird place random place should we do that for next week that's what i was thinking is like we need to take a full day just to drive to a sonic okay because it would take that long because with traffic and everything to drive all the way to a place and then all the way back Uh um and then this is the last comment i'm going to read about sonic okay riley said chapel chapel roan literally posting a picture with a sonic cup after they recorded this from the show they were at and i'm like is that true like, is, did she really go get a Sonic after she performed at the concert we were at and when we were at the hotel talking about how we didn't think Sonic existed? Was she literally at a Sonic that night while we were talking about this? Oh, my God. She literally is. Look, it's on her Instagram. That's her. That is her drinking a Sonic. That's the outfit she wore that night. Yes. Why would she be wearing it still in another theater? Well, maybe this is from a different performance. Uh-huh. But, I mean... She's drinking Sonic. That's crazy. She, the lemon cream. I don't know what she. I don't. I didn't ask. I don't. I don't know. Um. So I just thought that was very funny. And now, what I, do we get? Should we go? What do we get? Oh Where yeah, that's go? what you guys should tell us. Tell us what we should get from Sonic. So maybe we, we do. Oh my god, real. I just remembered something I need to talk about today. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I'll talk about it after the comments. Okay, there's just two more. Okay. Zomi said this talk. Okay, we talked about something called a cookie puss last week, which is a cake, and then yeah. we made jokes about it. Zomi said this talk of cookie puss reminds me of Nanner Puss, the pancake octopus hybrid, Denny's mascot. What are you actually talking about? Is that real? I I didn't do more research. You can get an octopus pancake from Denny's. Nanner Puss, the pancake octopus hybrid. Why Nanner Puss? Nanner Puss. Don't tell me that doesn't sound like saying something. I mean, that sounds not good. Not great. It sounds like your Don't nannies. Be, we get it. We get it. We get you it. You know. Okay. I'm going to look it up. I'm scared to type this into my. Is this just a trick to get me to type this into my Google search engine? Yeah, probably. Nanner puss. 
Let's see what it says. Denny's Nanorpus. For Wait real? Wait a minute. Hold on. I got to see a picture. Oh, my gosh. It's a banana. Oh, Nanorpus. On top of. Okay, now I get it. Yeah, Nanorpus. It's an Why octopus. Put, oh, because they make the banana. banana look like an octopus. I guess On so. top of a okay. pancake. I doubt they still have it. It looks very old. They shouldn't have done that. No, I don't think but so. But I love that that triggered that memory for that person. Yeah, I love that too. Uh-huh. Um, and then it's uh, your girl Shay said, Eric being fully clothed in the bed made me so uncomfortable. Outside clothes don't belong in the bed, LMAO. And I feel like I hear this argument a lot. Like if you wear your clothes outside of the house, you should never wear them into your bed. But Eric's a big shoes in the house guy, which is wild to me. We were in a hotel. It doesn't matter where you are. A lot of people believe that like if you wear clothes out and about in life, you don't, you change your clothes to get into your bed. We were in a hotel for like a night. That doesn't change anything about what I just said, though. But I, but I also like it's still was, a bed. I was recording like a podcast, so like. But a, that's you're still wearing your outside clothes so I in have the bed. Changed, so it should be like. An, you should wear fresh clothes to get into bed. Fresh clothes. Yes, that's what or, a lot of people believe. And I was I the reason I'm reading this is because I feel like it's going to spark a huge conversation in the comments because this is like a thing. Okay. There are people who are viciously against wearing outside clothes in your bed. Like you do not get in your bed ever in clothes that you have worn out and about. Because why? Because well, germs I, I, and th grossness from out and about is then in your bed. Yeah, I don't think I'd do that, like normally. You would lay in your bed in your clothes, I think. What? Yeah, like if you, like, yeah. You if I'm in bed, I'd take my clothes off. Yeah, but you literally did it. You do, you do that. I've, so, I've done it from we're, time to time. Because we were, we were recording a podcast. I didn't want to be like, Clothes. Well, yeah. I, I'm just, I'm just reading. I'm, I'm just the messenger. There's, I'm just reading you the comment, and I know that people are going to talk about this. I'm not going to argue for wearing clothes that you wear outside, like in your bed while you lay in but bed. But you're not a super against it either, and neither am I. Like, I don't do it on the regular, but like, I also don't care that much. I don't think about it. Well, how often are you washing your sheets? I think you're supposed to do it like once a week. Right. Yeah. So if you're doing that, like, what's, what's the big. Uh, because if you you wear your outsideness into your bed, then that night you're sleeping in your outside germness because it's on your bed. You put it on your bed. This is what these people say. I'm not saying I agree with this. I, I'm just saying this is what I've heard. I'm like a hypochondriac as much as, as the rest of them. But like this whole like you can't wear shoes in your house. That one I actually agree with hardcore. Yeah. Like ever since we had kids because I'm like they're crawling and you're yeah, like. Yeah, shoe, shoes. I agree. And I also. And as you wear shoes in the house. I'm doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing shoes. In, uh, I'm wearing sh shoes kind of right now, but they're not shoes that I wear outside of the house. I don't know. Like Okay. But Eric, Eric's. I'm trying. I'm trying at that. He but, is but trying. But the clothes in the bed, like. Yeah, it's a big thing. People say not to do it. Whenever I'm in bed, it's because I've just put on like kind of pajamas and I've just showered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think that's generally how I roll. Yeah. Clothes in the, in the bed style. Yeah. Well, not that night. And it upset someone real bad. But I, I, I thought that what did, you, what did she say? It did what? It, she said that it, it sent her. It sent her like you wearing your outside clothes just in the bed was like appalling. I don't remember what her wording. We just got back from a concert. And we were like we're podcasting in bed. I think that's the exact reason why she's like was against yeah. it. Is you were out at a concert and then out to dinner and then you wore those germs into your bed. I didn't notice, and I didn't care at the time. I didn't even notice it had happened, but yes, she was very yeah. upset about it. Sorry about that. Love, it's it's totally fine. I wanted to I tell apologize. you. I apologize. You don't need to. Is it time to show our paintings to each Not other? Almost, almost. Oh, my God. Sorry, I have one more thing I want to say. Okay, so I downloaded ChatGBT or whatever it's called. The Chat. AI. You know the AI thingy? You downloaded Chat? Listen, I was just what curious. Are you, a I've college, never college A college sophomore no. trying to pass a... Is that why people do it? I think people get through college now. I mean, I don't know. Well, I downloaded it and I was just asking it silly questions like in my vlog today. And I was like, oh, I'm podcasting tonight. I'll ask this AI robot what I should talk about in my podcast with my husband. So I, I can't remember exactly what my question was, but I was pretty specific. Uh, out of nowhere, you're like, I downloaded chat. GP. That's like yeah. a thing you can do. Oh, yeah. I'm so, okay. Yeah. So I asked this AI robot, okay, this, I have a podcast with my husband and it's called Relax the Podcast, and we talk about silly, fun things, and we have um, f fun, lighthearted debates about uh, relatable yet uh, ridiculous 
You said topics. all this? Yes, because the more specific you are, the better the robot is at like responding. So I was trying to give it, and so I was like, examples are, do you put your toilet paper roll over or under? Is cereal a soup? Is what is the first day of the week? Is it Sunday or Monday? Like I gave it examples even, okay? Okay. And then I said, what should we talk about? And this is a response. Are you ready for this? <laughs> AI is like the smartest thing in the world, right? Supposedly. It's like, no, but read, yes. read what it said to, read out loud to our listeners what it said we should talk about today. It gave me a whole list of things to talk about. It sounds like your podcast has a fun and lighthearted vibe. So here are some additional topics that you and your husband could discuss that are silly, funny, and relatable to your audience. Number one is a hot dog a sandwich. Number two is a hot dog a sandwich. <laughs> Number three, should pineapple be on a pizza? Yes. Number four is a hot dog a sandwich. Number five is a hot dog a sandwich. Number six is a hot dog a sandwich. Number seven, should pineapple be on a pizza? Number eight is a hot dog a sandwich. Number nine is a hot dog a sandwich. <laughs> Number 10 is a hot dog a sandwich. Number 11, should pineapple be on a pizza? You know, this goes on till number 20. Yes. And every answer is for is that. I know. Is that crazy? That's really what happened? That's really what happened. I was laughing so hard. I was like, what? Isn't chat? Isn't this what like the robot thing supposed to be like super smart? Okay. It's a hot dog a sandwich. So let's talk about it. It really wants us to talk about this. So it's is no, a hot it's dog a, a hot dog. Like, is it a sandwich? Of course it's not a sandwich. It's a hot dog. So you would say it's definitely not a sandwich. No, definitely not. Really? Uh, should pineapple be on pizza? Yeah. Of course it should. It's delicious. Well, I mean, yeah. Are these even topics? Yeah. Um, and they made that into 20 questions. That's Isn't that so funny? Oh, that's... Um, I was like dying laughing at that. Chat box. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, I guess we can reveal. I'm not done with mine, but I can finish it later if I have to. No, nobody's saying they're done. We're just... We're just unveiling. Okay, I still have more. Are you ready? Oh, my God. Okay, you you first or me first? I can go first. Okay. Mine's a little bit more, like, came out a little bit more, like, cartoonish. It's not, okay. like, real, like hyper-realism. It's more, mm -hmm. like, pop, kind of pop art. Okay. Arty. And I will say that, like, when, we, when I started this the other night, mm -hmm. this is what your hair was like, and this is what you were wearing. Oh, my God. Hey, that's pretty good. I look... It's like pretty good. I'm maybe... What? pretty look i mean your eyes sparkle do you see the sparkle in my your lips eyes look, i'm just gonna say my lips look upside down what do you mean it looks like my lips are upside down you got a big bottom lip love no but it like it has like the dent of like a, a top lip on the bottom lip there oh i guess yeah yours just doesn't really have that i don't think any lips do that's like a top lip on the bottom also where do i put it i feel like i have that that's very manly features you've given me where i feel like the jaw the like the face what? I just feel like you're it looks so very, critical. It looks amazing. That's prettier than me. But I do feel like it looks a little manly. Manly? Mm hmm Where how? Where? In the boobs? In the jaw, I think. I think it's the jaw structure, the Adam's apple, perhaps. I didn't there's no Adam's <laughs> apple. <laughs> kind of is. Um Okay. I love it. I think it's so great. I think it's All so right. Good. I love it. All right. Are you ready to see yours? I don't know that I expected you to be so critical. I thought it was. I'm not critical. I think it's beautiful. I think it's so good. I try. I'm not critical of you. Your painting is actually incredible. It's. I'm critical of my own face and how I don't like my face in life. And so a painting of my face I'm not going to like because I don't like my actual face. I so just like, don't understand, understand uh, your notes, but like, okay. I like that you made my nose smaller than it is in real life. I really appreciate that. Like that nose is very cute, the one you painted. Uh huh. I look very. Um, you don't like it. I love it. You oh my god, like I love it. Lovey, I love it so much. You I think it's like inc it. it's actually incredible. And like I actually it. think the Sharpie's great because it's like very like art pop. Is that what it's called? Comic art like I don't know. pop. I Comic love it. Sans. I love it. That's I think it's I great. For. I it's you honestly it. not your art. It's the fact that I think my face is not great, and so if I see something that looks like my face, I'm not gonna like it. Period. I believe you. Yours isn't done. Your shirt is just a big uh, black blob. I haven't done anything to it. Okay. And also, I, I'm just not done in general. It's just not done. But I'm going to make it. Okay. This is yours. <laughs> 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 and I <laughs> tried really hard. <laughs> um. I was going to make it like 
more um hazy around so because like you're like my you're my lavender haze <laughs> but then i didn't get around to it but uh that was the best i could do on the time restraints i had here hold on i'm gonna put it up close to the camera so you can see the artwork that i have done of eric does that look like eric i don't know here put yours up put yours up yours uh, is yours is better than mine because oh yours is a thousand times better than mine i don't think so as per usual is my is my uh thing bigger than yours? no is it's your what bigger? The same size. Yeah, I don't know. So those are our paintings. Uh, mine's not finished. I still have more work to do, obviously, but it's getting there. <laughs> what do you think? What are your notes? Do you have notes? I think it's really good. What are your notes? I, I no, I don't have any notes. I think it's really good. I've, I'm like very supportive. Like it looks. I would. I, I feel like if you showed that to our kids, they would be like, "Oh, that's me." To whereas yeah. I showed this to uh, Macy this morning. She goes, "Oh, it's it's Miranda." Oh, she thought it was Miranda. That's still uh -huh. me. See, I feel like um, that is true. If I show this to our kids, they would say it's daddy. But I could also show them like a video of like Blippy or something and they would say it's you. I feel like they see anyone that's a boy, an adult man with brown hair and an adult woman with brown hair and they think it's mommy or daddy. Yeah. Don't you agree? Like all the time I'll show them pictures or videos of things and they're like, oh, it's mommy. I, it's daddy. I think it's, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's really good. Like you, I feel like you, it's like makes me feel seen your painting oh because like i feel like like what my hair is right now that's exactly like it's really on point and the i don't know i was i feel like my I eyes just, are a little bit far apart they are very far apart in um, this painting i realized that right after i did it, i was like oh no his eyes are too far apart but i do really like i think you did it i feel like i'm happy i'm really happy with it because like it makes me feel like oh like like uh my love looks at me and she does and she's also talent and talented artist but she like i would not say like. that my love i would not i still you're I, there's a lot i need to fix it's it's not good i really like it i love it well i'm not done my with skin's it. a little yellow it's a little it is very little yellow. jaundicy yeah it is very but yellow i can see you working on that and shaking it out i feel like a simpson um mm -hmm. i mean it's what i had to work with we didn't have your exact skin tone and i'm not a colorist that can mix them unfortunately i wish i was better at that i love the glare on the glasses i think you did amazing the glare on the glasses actually isn't a glare it's that i i messed up and so then i tried to remake the yellow i i messed it up so i'm glad it looks like a glare well there you have it that's the episode we painted each other i don't know what we talked about because i was very focused on painting um sonic is but real. make sure to leave us lots of comments for next week because i love reading your comments and it gives us lots of fun ideas and if you don't give us comments to talk about things we're gonna uh ask chat gbt let's talk about and we're just gonna talk about hot dog sandwiches for an hour that's next week crazy that isn't that so like, funny yeah. i thought it was gonna give me all these great like viral ideas i people are like getting through ivy league colleges right now based off of just based off of hot dog sandwiches. writing essays for them apparently not all right. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.